All right. Today's the day, and it looks like the Fulgore trailer is ready. No extreme hype and excitement. We're just going to take a small, calm, cool, and collected get hype look at the Fulgore trailer, and it's going to be just fine. Now, hype can be a dangerous thing, and it has severe effects against the human body. Let's go! We're going to calmly analyze this character and trailer, and I have some protective eyewear just in case. My hype shield sunglasses. So Fulgore is looking extremely faithful to his original rendition in Killer Instinct 2 and Killer Instinct 1. A lot of what you can see within this trailer is actually moves fairly similar to the previous character, and a lot of the other things he does are pretty crazy and not really similar to the rest of the cast either. I'm extremely happy with how he looks as well. Like really, the rendition of Fulgore being one of my favorite characters and from like my childhood, and also growing up, I've always wanted to see this character represented again in a big 3D beautiful fashion somehow. And the concept art had me really excited. They nailed his face, they got that extremely well, and I was only hoping that this would translate to the game, and it looks like it has, thank god. Fulgore does look like a heavy set character, along with ranged and projectile zoning. He seems to have a lot of his classic moves, but it seems like he's really gonna have to do things a little bit differently, and this is mostly because there's one element that I really want to highlight at the start of this, and it's the charging. Right at the beginning of the trailer, we see Fulgore charge multiple times, whether or not it's with his, like, spinning blades on his arm, or actually doing something with his chest, where his chest opens up and reveals a power core of some kind. Charging is emphasized a lot at the beginning of this trailer, and I think that's going to have something to do with uh, how he manages meter. We also heard from the previous Microsoft streams that he does have some unique ways of getting meter similar to Spinal getting skulls, so I'm pretty sure this is related, and it's going to be a very important factor of Fulgore as a character. Later on, we see a lot of different moves coming out between, like, the Cyber Dash and the Eye Lasers, which I'm really glad are back. That's something that really Really seems to be a staple. What I'm getting the hint at is like Fulgore is kind of like a crazy ass version of Superman from Injustice. We'll see how good he ends up being. Now very early on, here's something to pay attention to. It appears that Fulgore also has his forward HP. Um, you remember this move? It was a double swinging move from Killer Instinct 2. Kind of similar to Jago's forward roundhouse. It seems like this is back, and whether or not it's as high priority as Jago's forward roundhouse, we don't exactly know yet. If Fulgore has a move like this, it can mean very good things for the character about him being potential and viable in really high level tournaments. The other thing that's crazy about this is that I'm seeing a lot of really weird special canceling abilities. We've seen Spinal do certain things where he can cancel into his special moves very fast, and I think Fulgore has something similar. If you look at this, he actually launches them up with an eye laser special, goes immediately into one of his fireball attacks, and then an uppercut, or what looks like a shadow uppercut. And if this is the case, that means that Fulgore can actually cancel special into special, maybe, which is freaking nuts. Um, that's gonna cause for some insane things as far as setups and figuring out frame traps and all this kind of stuff. And lo and behold, the thing that we've all been curious about, what looks to be the most devastating freaking move ever, is actually real. It looks like this is not a no mercy, it's not like an ending animation. This is a legit ass move, a full screen laser. However, he does activate something on his arm beforehand, and it looks like he kind of goes into instinct because his body begins to glow red immediately after, going into the laser. It could be that this is his instinct, the fact that he's able to use a chargeable laser of some kind against the opposition, but, but this projectile seems like it's extremely fast, has crazy range, and is a lot different than anything we've seen in the game thus far. So we'll have to see how good it really is, or if it's worth any of the resources that you might have to use for it. Oh, and check it out, the teleports are back! We're actually seeing the usage of a teleport early on in this trailer, and it does appear to be a shadow move. I think it might be the shadow cyber dash goes to the immediate opposite side of the opponent and goes plowing through. Uh, whether or not this thing happens on zero frames, I highly doubt it because it switches instantly to the other side of the screen, and that'd be ridiculously powerful if it was that fast, but he does indeed have teleports. This ender is actually a classic Fulgore ender where he uppercuts you and then you bounce off of one of the fireballs. This is one of my favorite ones, one of my favorite enders in all of the original Killer Instinct, and I'm really, really, really glad to see that it's back. And finally, here's one of the most significant gameplay things we can look at from this trailer. We actually see Fulgore throw three fireballs. That means the triple fireball from the original Killer Instinct games is indeed back. Whether or not it's going to cost meter, it doesn't appear to be so because he does not actually go into a shadow move of any kind. And what happens is that the first one gets soaked up by Orchid's Firecat, and then he teleports through and combos after. 
So this means that Fulgore potentially has some similar combo and an approaching setups like Spinal has, where you throw out a skull and then you teleport to the opposite side. We also see that the teleport acts differently and it teleports you closer to the opposition. Now, this is this sets up so much stuff that it's going to be crazy. Fulgore seems like a character that's breaking, breaking bounds. Like, he might actually be really freaking good. Uh, there was also a similar impression when Spinal came out, and he did not end up being as crazy good, albeit still really good, but he takes a long time to get used to. So we're going to have to wait and see. All in all, Fulgore looks freaking crazy. He looks awesome. He's got a lot of the classic moves I've been looking for. And his also just character presence just looks so damn cool, man. I really think the Double Helix kind of knocked it out of the park with this one. This is actually the final character that they're going to be releasing that they made from, uh, from their studio until it gets passed on to the next development studio, which we're going to talk about really soon in another video because there's just way too much to go over right now. Otherwise, stay tuned, guys, because we're actually going to get a full gore gameplay demonstration tomorrow on the Microsoft live stream, and I'll have some highlights and hype moments that happen during so, and we'll analyze even more of what's going on with this character. He is pretty much confirmed to be my main character. This will be include a week of the highest ultra combo I can possibly get, as well as a beginner's tutorial. But last but not least, it also looks like we are getting arcade mode and full lobbies. Eight player lobbies, we get a sneak peek at this, and I'm really glad to see that arcade mode isn't just like, go to the end, you get an ending. It looks like there's actually cinematics of some kind associated with it. If you guys remember previous arcade mode versions of Killer Instinct, like KI2 had multiple endings, so that'd be a nice thing if they were able to include something like that, albeit I don't think it's a possibility because Double Helix only had so much time to do so. Either way, I think it looks cool. I'm glad to see the characters doing more things than just fighting on the screen. And 8-player lobbies, oh my god, thank you. I can't freaking wait to actually play the game with subscribers and things normally function online. But like I said, dude, stay tuned because I'm going to have more videos going up talking about the new developer and what that exactly means for the future of Killer Instinct. This year is about to get a little freaking crazy for fans of KI. My name is Maximilian. Thank you dudes very much for watching and let's go!